In our last video, we learned how to read all the contents from PDF. Now I'll show you how to pull records from PDF table into your worksheet. First of all, we're going to identify um, some of the unique strings that begins and ends in the table. For example, our unique string could be below are the top five inflows for the week, or it could be the UID, and it can be high-level observations here that we can use to uh, create our logic. So based on these two strings, we'll end the number of the columns, which is uh, here we can see four columns. So based on this, we'll create our logic in, um, to pull in the data. Coming to our ID here, I'm gonna quickly copy this, all this code, insert a new module. This time I'm gonna call this read table from PDF. We're gonna introduce some variables. Let's call this um, data print. Let's call this when we want to print or not. This will be true or false. And then the counter for our column. Let's store this in a long value. And then the current row is long. Okay, so this will be our three new variables. We'll learn how to use that now. So coming down here, we'll say um, content. Our content is going to be this data that is it's pulling in from. I'll just comment this out for now. Here, uh, I'll say if the content value is like um, something like UID, which is this, then I want to start printing the value or writing the value to Excel. Then I'll say that. Else, if um, the content is like high, that's when I want to stop printing it. So I'll say data print equal to false, and then I'll just stop printing altogether, exit from the loop itself. So I'll say exit for. Now we'll start writing a logic to print the data if this is true condition is met so we'll say if print data is called the true then let's just increase the corner of our column and we'll say cells or whatever the row that is defined we'll start printing from this row row number one and then the column and then we'll say print the content there. This loop is going to take care of for each of the column. Now we have to reset the column once it reaches 4. Counter is equal to 4. Because we have 4 columns now, every time it reaches 4, it want to reset for the next line. Column is 4, then count is equal to zero so every time we reach here it will start with one again and then we'll increase the row counter as well once it reaches four okay our code should be working fine now we'll quickly go through I'll run through this I'll just put a breakpoint there and run this F5 so now I'm gonna press F8 seems to printing print out the headers and then now the data seems to be printed out maybe not in the format i'm gonna run through all this now first f5 okay so there are some cleaning that is required okay coming back first we'll trim this content the same Excel trim 
and then we'll clean as well because there is um, like a new line there we use the clean function within the clean we'll put the trim as well I'm gonna rerun this code very quickly now the data seems to be good so the date the date portfolio is in general and then this is in number format so if you look at our table here and the table here so it seems to be working great